Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Hub. This is a new tutorial on Selenium. In this session, we are going to learn how to capture a screenshot in Selenium. So guys, uh, many of you guys uh, uh, reported that you are getting a screenshot but there is a, a red shadow on it. But in our case, we are not going to get it. So we will learn how to capture a screenshot, a clear screenshot inside the Selenium. Let's get it started. First, I will show you what kind of a screenshot I'm talking about. So guys, you can look at here on the left hand side. The first one is this uh, red color shadow screenshot. Some of you guys reported that you are getting this kind of screenshot. Okay, guys, so we are not going to get it. We are focusing on the screenshot of this type. Check it here on the right hand side. So we will get a crystal clear screenshot in this tutorial session. Now going inside the Eclipse, this is my Eclipse and uh, this is the first project which I have used in my first tutorial on the Selenium. So you can watch that video first and you will get the idea how to set up the Selenium here in the Eclipse. So guys, I am using a web driver manager. As you know, web driver manager help you to avoid the conflict between the Chrome driver and the your Chrome browser version. Okay, so at line number 24, we have done that thing. Now moving further at line number 26, you have noticed like uh, this is a web driver instance. After that, I'm using that instance to visit www.coolithelp.com. This is my website page. So I will first reach on that page and uh, when the browser will open, so this will not in full size. So at line number 29, I will maximize this thing. Okay. Once the complete page is loaded, I will capture the screenshot. So my network is little bit slow. So I have given a pause. So I was little worried about the complete page loading. That's why I have given it. You can skip that statement at line number 30. Now the actual thing is happening at line number 32. Basically, we are converting this driver object into takes a screenshot class object. So we have typecasted it. Once we get this object takes a screenshot, we simply calling its method get a screenshots as. Okay, now here in the uh, arguments, we are passing this output will be a file type because this method will capture the screenshot and this will return a file object. So we are storing here in this reference variable a screenshot full page. I have given this name. Okay. Now at the line number 33, we are using file utils dot copy file method. What we are doing, we have captured the file and now we are saving it as an image file. So this method will help you to do that copy file pass that object and then the next argument is the file path that means the image you want to save on the disk so you have to give the location for that so suppose you want to save your image somewhere in a c drive so you have to give the path or you can say the location for the image so like uh, suppose you have a folder for capturing all the images in C drive, C images, and then give the name of the image, first image plus dot extension in the double quotes. You can change the extension as well. You can use the JPEG and other format as well. So I'm not giving a complete path. I'm simply giving the name of the image at this place and uh, this will save the image in the uh, source project folder. Now it's time to run. I'm going to run it. Here we go. Okay, uh, we got a message Chrome driver launch and uh, we got this browser, but this is not maximized. So our next statement will maximize this window and by taking the five second pause, this will capture the screenshot of this window and this will save on the disk. I hope the screenshot has been captured. Now I will go back uh, here in the Eclipse. So I will check is there any 
error or not okay here is my clips okay neat and clear there is no exception so this is statement executed and uh, first image dot jpg file is saved so i will check it so i have to go there so now i will do a right click on this project and i will click here on this properties then there is a location so here is a direct button click on it this will take you there okay so this is the project folder now i will go inside and i found our image so there were two images images already there uh, but our image name is first image so i have this image here so you can see let me open this okay this is uh, very clear uh, so guys i want to tell you one thing uh, this will not capture the uh, complete page this will capture the uh, full page screenshot but which is uh, on the view means at that instance page is loaded so whatever your screen area so this will capture only only that part okay and this will be saved as a image if you want to capture the screenshots of the rest of the screen rest of the page so you have to scroll down first and you have to come down side and then you have to capture the screenshot uh in this video i have not covered that thing but i hope uh very soon i will bring uh, that video as well found this tutorial relevant please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help